Now that we have built our device, let's turn our attention to the Azure side of things. First, you'll need an Azure account. Go ahead and create one if you don't have one already. There is a one month free trial available, so you can build out this project without incurring any usage fees. Once your account has been created, go to the portal, portal.azure.com, to create your IoT hub. The IoT hub will be where the devices send and receive messages to and from. Here, you can see that I already have one created, but let's walk through the process of creating a new one. Click on the New option, then select Internet of Things, then click on Azure IoT Hub. A new blade will open to allow you to configure your IoT Hub. Enter the name for your hub. If the name is valid and available, a green check mark will appear next to the box. Select the pricing and scale tier. There is a free tier and it's sufficient for this project. You'll see that the free option is grayed out for me because that's what I have for my existing IoT hub and you're only allowed one free IoT hub per account. But go ahead and create free. Create a new resource group or add the IoT hub to an existing one. This is the only resource I currently have on Azure so I haven't really had the need yet for groups. Select a subscription. If you're on the free trial, select it here. And finally, select location. It's not critical for this project, but go ahead and select the one closest to where the devices will be deployed. That's it. Now click on the Create button. It can take a few minutes for Azure to create and deploy your IoT Hub, and you can check the Notifications panel for the status at any time. Once the IoT Hub has been successfully created, open the blade for the new IoT Hub. There's some information we'll need about your IoT Hub for the next few steps. You'll need the host name for the Universal Windows application which we will deploy to the device later, so take note of that. You'll also need the connection string to connect to the IoT Hub from Device Explorer. Device Explorer is a tool we'll use to create our device's identity. To get the connection string, click on the key, then double click on the IoT Hub Owner Policy. The connection string is here. Click on the clipboard icon to copy it. Now it's time to create the identity for our device. There are APIs in Azure to do this programmatically, and if you look at the Getting Started with Azure IoT Hub tutorial, you can get sample code for a console app to manage your device's identity. But I decided to use the Device Explorer application since I can not only manage my device's identity in a few clicks, but I can also view all the messages sent to Azure from the device. Download and install Device Explorer. You can get the app from the Azure IoT SDK's repository on GitHub. Launch Device Explorer. In the Configuration tab, enter the IoT Hub connection string we copied earlier from the portal and click Update. Now go to the Management tab. To define a device, click Create and enter the device ID. For this project, I'm using the conference room name for the device ID. You'll see that Device Explorer automatically generated this device's keys for you. While we are here, go ahead and copy the device's primary key. We'll need that for our app. Then click Create. Now you have a device identity. A device with this identity will not only be able to connect to Azure IoT Hub, but also be uniquely recognized by IoT Hub. That's it for setup on the Azure side of things.